Hello friends, welcome to an engineer boys YouTube channel. My name is Isal Khan and in this video we will be learning about the rub cost estimate. As you know there are only two types of estimate like and say in original estimate and repair estimate and they have their own types like you can say the rub cost estimate and detail estimate and the repair estimate does have three types like you can say these guys right but our approach is not to discuss about these all of things our approach is only the rub cost estimate so let's talk about the rub cost estimate in detail and remember rub cost estimate is used to find out the approximate cost of project in minimum time this is the short definition of rub cost estimate and how exactly we do the rub cost estimate remember there are a few methods like you can say the per unit number method the based on planned area of structure based on cubic rate estimate and something stretch right so these methods can be used to do the rub cost estimate of any project and let's just select only one method which is used mostly by the quantity surveyors in daily projects right and in this video i think we should use the based on planned area of structure method because this method is mostly used by the quantity surveyors right and let's just uh, use this method for the buildings and what steps should we follow to do the rub cost estimate of a building based on the plant area of structure method the first thing we'll just calculate the total plant area of structure then we'll just guess the rate of construction per unit area and we'll calculate the boundary wall length and cost of construction of course and then we'll add water supply and sanitary cost right about eight percent per 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 each and then we'll just add the cost of electric and gas supply per electricity we use eight percent and per the gas of course we can consider four percent and then we'll just take the cost per contingencies right we'll just add i mean the cost of contingencies of the total above cost about three percent and then we of course just determine the total cost right just adding these all things so these are the basic steps right just can be used to determine the rub cost estimate of a building based on the planned area method of structures and i think to understand the problem a little better we should have an example as we always do let's say this is example first and we are asked to prepare the rub cost estimate of a building having planned area of 500 sapt and we are informed to take $20 per SFT as rate of construction and then charges per water supply and sanitary may be considered as 8% whereas per electric supply and gas supply is 8% and 4% respectively and lastly 3% per contingencies may be considered so to prepare the rub cost estimate of the given building we will just calculate the cost of construction first and remember the total plant area is given which is 500 sapt so we should multiply this area with the rate of construction which is only dollar 20 per sapt we can get of course the cost of construction equals ten thousand dollar now remember cost for water supply and sanitary is only eight percent and to remove the person sign we divide this guy by 100 remember and if there is 8 in 100 then how much it should be in 10,000 which is the total cost of construction we'll get of course dollar 800 per cost of water supply and sanitary and then of course we can calculate the cost of electric supply which is of course only 8% the same as cost per water supply and sanitary and this is the same so I'll just plug of course dollar 800 per cost of electric supply right and then comes of course the gas supply which is of course only 4% and to remove the percent sign of course we divide this guy by 100 and now if it's 4 in 100 then how much it should be in 10,000 which is the cost of construction we'll get of course dollar per OO is cost of gas supply and then just we add these things together like the cost of construction the cost per water supply and sanitary the cost per electric supply and the cost for the gas supply which makes total equals twelve thousand dollars so for this time the total cost is only twelve thousand dollars and now we will have to take three percent per contingencies like you can say of course three percent and we'll divide this by 100 because we have to remove the percent side as just we do always now if it's three and 100 then how much it should be in dollar twelve thousand we'll get of course the extra cost per contingencies equals dollar three six oh 
And finally, the total estimated cost must be $12,000 plus $360, which is of course $12,000 and $360. And that's the answer, right? This is how we prepare the rough cost estimate of a building which does have pipe or OSFT as planned area. And that's it. Hey, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And at the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification button and never miss another update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.